Churchill really pushed and provoked. He felt that science could make the war shorter and provide less suffering. He um, had a, a boyish enthusiasm for the subject and read widely, including uh, Darwin's Origin of the Species. He read a lot of H.G. Wells and later became friends with him. We wanted to do two things in this exhibition. We wanted to explore the way science was recruited for the, Se the Second World War and then in the second half of the exhibition to look at the heritage of that science and to reflect on the way wartime science had given an enormous kickstart to post-war research. 2015 marks the 50th anniversary of Churchill's death and um, some people will probably think of Churchill as a Prime Minister or as a writer but here at the Science Museum we thought it was a great opportunity to look at Churchill's relationship with science. He gave opportunity to the scientific community. He was the first Prime Minister to have a scientific advisor always at hand. He was there to really encourage um, military to talk to scientists to see how they could collaborate and work together. Science and engineering are involved in armaments at all levels and there are capable scientific establishments already working before the war. The exceptional feature of the Second World War is that a lot of independent or um, academic scientists also recruit themselves into the war effort. They particularly go into wartime electronics, radar for example, into the new science of operational research which applies science to military problems and uses statistics and time series to see what the best tactics might be in particular circumstances. Radar was probably one of the most significant um, developments. Churchill later remarked that without radar um, the war would have been very different for Britain. He really, uh, once it proved itself, he had a lot of faith in the technology. It was absolutely integral uh, to defence, so de uh, radar in the UK and along the coastlines, but also when it moved into planes. It was really important at the, against the Battle of the Atlantic, uh, tracking U-boats and being used to map enemy lands. In 1960, Churchill was asked what he wanted as his legacy, and he very firmly said, I want to have a scientific college at Cambridge named after me. So Churchill College, Cambridge, was established by Royal Charter in 1960, and it's amazing, over the last 50 years, Churchill College has had over 20 Nobel Prize winners in science. And Churchill always believed that Britain needed to depend on the power of our minds, so he thought that science was a way of leading Britain into a more positive future.